What's up, YouTube? I haven't done any videos on my channel because, I, to be honest, I don't got no content to make. But I just decided to actually make a video of my daily driver, which is my 07 Charger. It is RT, so it has a 5.7 Hemi. And um, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going to do with my channel. I've been trying to add less off a mess thing, but I've been so busy working and racking up money, trying to save money for, for a project. And, um, but... I work night shift, so it keeps me busy, and then during the day, I'm asleep, so, um, and I've been working, like, I only get, like, two days off every two weeks and shit like that, so I just decided to make this quick video because I'm at work. I'm a truck driver, but I still have to commute to work, so this is my daily driver, and this is my 07 charger, like I said. It, it does have a little bit of, you know, some some damage some you know nothing nothing major so i'm just gonna talk about like the things i like and like the things that i don't like so to start off i'm gonna start off with the things that i like and also i'm gonna talk like you know what it is to daily drive one of these but there's a llama over there just staring at me anyways things that i like about the sixth gen is the body style the design, like it looks good, right? It's just a regular RT, nothing fancy, nothing fast. It's an 07, so it's the pre-eagle. It is, you know, let, let, let me keep in the things that I like. So the design, the design, I like it. I like the body style. Everything about it, I like it. Now it's sitting nice because I lowered it too um, with h &R springs. I don't know how many inches it was dropped because I got them used, but the design is the main one. The interior, I like how the dash looks and all that stuff. Uh, it's a little bit messy. I need to get these new things at, on eBay. So it's fully loaded. Um, RT. The only thing it doesn't have is the the monitor right there in the middle. It's like some of them do. And it's a pretty big car, so you can fit kids behind. Like this is the side of my my older daughter. My youngest daughter sits on that side and somebody else in the middle could sit. I could sit all like how I sit, like reclining and everything. And my daughter fits though. She's only five years old, but. The baby's car seat fits, fits good. No issues, you know, the passenger could still sit in a in a good po post uh, poster, whatever you want to call it. You could probably go a little bit more back. Right there, you could probably even go a little bit more back right here. So, it is nice. I like the interior. I like the, the design of the interior. I like the design of the exterior. And I do like it that it does have a sunroof and it looks pretty nice when it's open like that. Um, but it looks aggressive. For me, it looks aggressive, but the car's not aggressive at all. <laughs> I want to say that my EcoBoost is probably faster than this. I don't know. I haven't tried it. But, so, some people disagree. Maybe they don't like it. I like it. So, a lot of things that I don't like. The main one is the fuel consumption. But when you drive a V8, fuel mileage is, is, is probably the, the thing that you should least try to, you know, like, get out of it. Like, I'm not going to try to get 30 miles per gallon on this. Like, I average city and town probably, like, 17 miles per gallon combined. Highway it probably does at best, I think, 25 in just highways. Like if I'm gonna take a trip on it, it, does 25, almost 26 to the to the gallon on um, just highway. That's at um, 70 miles per hour, cruise control, no abusing it. Once you step on the gas a little bit, it just goes away. But anyways, it's pretty good on the on the on the highway. Horrible in town. Combined, horrible. 70 miles per gallon. There's times that I average 15. Um, Another thing that I don't like, it's it's underpowered. I mean, for for I, I think my my EcoBoost is a little bit faster than it feels faster, it feels lighter, and everything, you know. But you know, it is a pre eagle, like I said. It is the the least of the Hemi's. Now, it is pretty clean, no oil leaks or anything. I had this one from a three valve that I used to have, and I made it fit. 
and I had to do this little breather mod and I put tape on it so it won't shake too much, you know. I'm gonna get a better, I'm gonna, I'm gonna design it a little bit better, but um, little issues that it gets, like these cars are so high maintenance for some reason. And it's all little stuff, like it has a new EGR valve, new alternator, new water pump, new thermostat, um, new radiator cap, new power steering pump, new radiator, new motor mounts. It's all like, normal maintenance stuff i ain't gonna lie because the car is high mileage it currently has 224,900 and something miles so it, it, almost 225k so let me just it goes my plastic let me just show you guys a little bit um door come on trip because i did the oil change so it has um 224,000 miles and 953 so almost 225,000 miles so to me the car the, the little issues that it had it's probably like high mileage stuff but it sounds great like, all I hear, to be honest, is injector noises. Like, I don't hear a hemi tick or anything, so I'm lucky. And I want to knock on wood, but I don't want to walk over there. So, knock on wood, you know, sounds great. I need to put some better tailpipes on it. And it's averaging, it's averaging. Come on, it doesn't let me do anything with the door open, man. Oh, there it is. So I'm averaging 18.1 miles per gallon. That's city and highway combined. So that ain't too bad, but you know, um, it's probably gonna go more down because yesterday I took a, a longer drive to work because I drive, so it's, um. so my job is like 15 minutes away from my house to here to this location well another warehouse is like down the street like where you see those tank thingies over there um so but then i go there's those days that i go and it's an hour drive and i get better fuel mileage always on the highway obviously it's more highway driving but when i'm just from here from my house to here it, it actually gets worse um gas mileage but just to go and come back, it's half a tank on my old job, on my other job, uh, not my other job, but on my extra days that I work. Um, so yeah, I replaced, so this car used to be my dad's. I got it from him when it had 207,000 miles. So now it has 25, so what, like 18,000 miles that I put into it in a year and like three months. So my dad's the type of guy that's, ride it to the wheels fall off he never did like most of the major maintenance stuff that he needed like when he needed the motor mounts he didn't care oil leak he didn't care so i changed when i got it when i got the car i changed the oil pan gasket motor mounts intake manifold gaskets power steering pump because it went out water pump because it, it had a little pinhole on it um alternator my dad did it the egr I'll explain right now. Radiator. The only reason I did the radiator was because my fans, as dual fans, one of the fans decided to shoot through my radiator. It broke off and shoot through my radiator. So that's the reason I changed my radiator. But that's it. I mean, a new thermostat when you change your water pump. But I'm actually running uh, without a thermostat right now because the thermostat just went out like four days ago and I haven't had a chance to change it. So I took out the thermostat, put the little rubber on it and just put the hose and back on it and it runs good. Um, in the, in the morning when I go home, it's more fresh. The car is running like at 165 degrees all the time. Um, right now, like if I drive right now around town to, um, 206. So it's not bad. So, so anyways, this car, I had traded it like two weeks ago. I traded for a new edge Mustang because I'm more of a Mustang guy. But I just decided this time, you know, I'm going to keep it. I don't want to be mean to the guy and be like, you know what? It's a deal. It's a deal. But his wife didn't agree. She was on vacation. And then when he, she came back, 
she didn't agree with the change. Uh, he hit me up saying, hey, my wife didn't agree, this and that. I told him, you know what, bring my car back, and that's fine. So I had the car mid-muffler deleted. I did it myself with my nephew with the kit from eBay. So it came with hold, uh, with clamps. And this, and I, I just cut off the resonators and had them hanging, no tailpipes. So this guy, he took it to get to the, the muffler shop. So he did that. He welded all the, everything, the pipes, so now it doesn't have clamps. He changed the EGR valve and um, serviced the AC. The AC was working all right, but I guess for him it wasn't, but now it does blow colder. So, so when he told me that he wanted to trade it back, I told him, you know what, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay you for the things that you did. He said, that's fine, this and that, I fixed the car for you. And I just told him, you know what, you didn't fix the car for me. You fixed the car for yourself. Your wife didn't agree. I just got lucky, I guess. But anyways, he hips me up a couple of days, that actually the next day that he wanted the car back. They wanted the car back that he talked to his wife, this and that, you know, still. I told him, no, you know what, I'm going to just keep it. And I decided I'm going to keep it because um, I'm working extra days at work. So I'm able to afford and build a, like, not a full race car charger, but going to build a nice one. So I'm going to get that um, body damage fixed by shop with Bondo and stuff like that. Not going to get the car just painted yet, but I'm going to wrap it. Hopefully, I'm going to get the... Hellcat diffuser, the Hellcat spoiler with the wicker bill. I ordered this lip. It's the Daytona style. And I think that's enough for the front, to be honest. I'm not going to go like with SRT bumper or anything. For me, it looks good enough. I'm going to order new fog lights and new headlights. My nephew has some SRT wheels from this year model that he didn't exactly give to me, but he said he'll give them to me as long as I own the car, you know? So he has an SRT charger. So um, a newer one the seventh gen whatever um so as long as i keep the car and i don't sell it i'm gonna use the wheels i just gotta get tires from them, so i will i ain't gonna do that in this couple of days um so i'm gonna put the srt charger wheels um i'll probably get some of that you know that the nice um little rocker panel thing whatever it's called i'm gonna go buy a wrap at walmart and wrap these myself i'm gonna I painted these myself with the brush and spray paint just so it could look a little bit better. It did have the decals, like the Daytona style decals, but this is not Daytona, obviously. The one that would run right here, like the Daytona, and then down. Not like the Daytona, but it would run like the Daytona on the side and then down. And then it had this all black right here too. But I took off all that because I don't like it. But I would like to wrap it silver or white, or if not, just go with like a crazy, um, other color i don't know but this is my daily it's a great car to be honest a lot of people talk shit about these chargers they are the like i said they are the pre-eagles and they are notorious for having uh, valve seats drop on them i drive my car i don't abuse it as much like i okay i do smash on the freeway sometimes once in a while get crazy in one of the corners or something in, in the street but it's not like i dog on it all day every day so it is a great car i don't let it overheat the times that I, the, the water pump went out once i saw the the temperature gauge rise up a little bit over the where it's normal because i know where my car rides i know where my car rides on temperature if it rides a little bit over that i'm shutting it off so so that's that 225,000 miles hopefully it lasts a little bit longer so i save some money in case the engine goes out i could be able to rebuild it but it is only like 240 crank horsepower. It's not fast or anything like that. But it sure looks cool going down the street. It is pretty good condition for the year. Like, it has its damage. Like, you can see a little bit of scratches right there. This scratch right here. That's because my dad's canopy, kind of like metal, it fell on it and it hit that. Um, it has this damage right here. Same thing, the canopy um this was my wife she hit a, she hit one of the other vehicles right there in my driveway where she was backing up so it's not a big deal um no little stuff like this scuff marks right here this one same thing my dad's canopy fell on it this i have no idea um dings from like hitting other stuff you know scratches right here this scratch right here it needs a detail because it has a lot of water spots. It's a lot better, but it was worse when I got it because my dad just would wet it, get in the freeway, dry itself. So, um, 
Yeah. These new fog lights because that one's yellow as fuck. This one's just dry. The headlights are like whatever. The grill, I'm gonna take it off. I spray painted it black because it was chrome. Gonna take it to a uh, shop and get it painted glossy black. So it look better. Maybe take um, these and get them gloss black too. Or find something to replace it on eBay. Take all those Hemis and put some 345s in it. Um, same thing. Take out the charger and take out the RT and take out that. Um, this one and probably put an RT badge right in the middle. Um, that's about it, man. This is my daily. Horrible on gas, but looks great doing it. It's slow, but it looks great doing the slow. So it is lowered, you know, so I can't be driving too fast on bumps. But like I said, if you expect to get one of these, don't expect fuel mileage because you're not going to get it. And don't expect to be the fastest in the city or in town or whatever in the freeway because you're not going to be the fastest. All right, like I said, if you're going to get one of these, don't expect to be the fastest just because you're not. It's quick for its year. It's quick for, you know, it's not the slowest thing out there, but it's not. It's not gonna beat a lot of shit out there. So I enjoy my car. I'm not it's not a race car. I just enjoy it just for what it is. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more about it. I do have a another project. Check out my other videos. It is an LS Swap Mustang that I wanna do. It's not an LS Swap Mustang yet, but I want it to be. And um other than that, that's my video. This is my daily, and I'll see you guys in the next one.